Okay folks, in this video, we're gonna build upon our frequency distribution table made from the previous video and show you how to make some bar charts and some pie charts. So we're gonna stick with the same health habits data set that we've used from the previous video, but instead what we're gonna to go to is under where it says basic plots. Go ahead and click that carrot and you'll see that you have the option for distribution plots and categorical plots. We're gonna go ahead and select distribution plots. Under distribution plots, you'll automatically see that the bar chart is gonna present itself and that out of the 1184 participants, that approximately 108 of those participants is graphically represented with the low category. Similarly, 443 counts of the 1184 is represented by the middle or the moderate category. And finally, the 663 counts is represented with the largest vigorous category. This is gonna help us to determine the bar charts, but if we want the pie charts, we're gonna go ahead and click this box right here and it's gonna give us the relative percentages for those data. So if we wanted to take these relative percentages of 9.122% and we wanted to display what that looks like graphically out of a 100% pie chart, you can see that that's represented here with the green category for low physical activity. Similarly, for the 37.416, this is represented with the brown, and lastly, the 53.463 is represented with the vigorous. So when you're generating these with the data set for your assignment, you're gonna be able to perform the same functions and take screenshots or copy and paste this directly into your assignment. Hope this video was helpful. We'll see you all in the next one.